Super Chief, Super Chief, Super Chief. People, people, people. There's a, a wrinkle in the Cinderella story that this bike would have been. Uh, it has turned out to be a little bit more difficult to get this bike back on the street than I originally anticipated. So I got this bike from IAA for I think 6,200 bucks. 2022 Indian Chief, Indian Super Chief. And as you can tell, the bike is essentially immaculate looking anyway. It, it, it has some blemishes because this bike was a flood bike. But 15 minutes after we got the bike off the truck, we had the bike started. Uh, it did have some water coming out of the tailpipe because the bike was submerged in water. Not completely, I think the water line stopped somewhere around in here. But there was no water dripping when we got it, so there was nothing coming out of the airbox. No water got sucked up into the engine. It was strictly coming out of the tailpipe. So, also we had roaches. Roaches came out of the bike. <laughs> oh no, we got roaches. The bike has roaches. Oh my God, look at the roaches. <laughs> That's not good. It's getting too hot for him. <laughs> but we washed the bike up, had it started. I did like a 50 mile ride on the bike. No issue. We had one little chassis fault, which is a ground that's under the seat that needed to be attended to, like, you know, screw the boat off, clean the con contact pins, and it'd be done. However, there are more electrical corrosion looking things going on that needs to be addressed. So this bike has a certificate of destruction title, meaning you can't legally get it registered to be on the street. You either crush it or you take it apart and you sell the pieces of the bike individually. I didn't want to do that. This is a perfectly rideable bike outside of the electrical harness having corrosion. And truthfully, that's just on the surface level. Once you start taking contact pins apart, taking connectors apart, you see that those seals that are in there are still holding up. There's nothing inside of the actual contacts it's more so surface level but either way i decided that i'm not going to strip this bike down i'm going to see if there's a way that i can get the title corrected going through my broker that i dealt with with iaa they said yes there is a way for us to clean the title through another state so that service would cost me 1500 dollars on top of the 6200 dollars that i paid for the bike and honestly being that this is right at a twenty thousand dollar bike it just makes sense to do it right versus stripping it all down and i know some people would have said well brandon i just would have stripped it down but i just cannot strip a bike down that looks this immaculate if i don't have to what's even crazier about this is that this bike has a certificate of destruction title right it's a complete junk title and then we got super chief limited right here salvage title leaking motor bent frame your crack crankcase not rideable salvage title certificate of destruction so that is why i'm like i want to get this title corrected and just get a salvage title and then go to rebuild because when you look at bikes like that it's just like that bike should be certificate of destruction before this bike is so i just recently got news that this service has essentially been disbanded because their contact has basically yeah they just shut their business down i guess it's they just got in trouble but doing this is not illegal getting a title corrected but you have to be a a, a resident of that state to do it so this person i assume is not a resident of this state which is why it eventually became a problem or they are but they, I guess, got caught that they were doing it for other people outside the state. But this broker, they say that this represents like 30 to 40% of their business because people do this all the time. I'm not new to this. Or I'm not the first person to say, hey, I need a title corrected. Because when you look at this, this is a perfectly functioning bike. It's not that you're trying to game the system where you're like trying to just get a clean title or nothing. No, when I get the title back after they would have, after this service would have been done, it still would have been salvaged. It just wouldn't be certificate of destruction so i still would have had to go through the proper rebuild title process that i did with the first bike making sure that all the parts that on this bike are not stolen i still would have had to go through that process it just wouldn't have a junk title so i still would have had to you know pay my fees and everything and do it the right way it's just this bike just wouldn't have to be crushed or just taken apart and sold individually that was the goal so my broker 
is essentially looking for an alternative in another state to see if they can do the same thing because now this is affecting their business. So how does that affect me with Super Chief? So my thought process right now is either wait for them to come up with a, a, a solution to help me get this title from Certificate of Destruction to salvage so I can properly get this bike registered because I don't want to have to take this bike apart. Or the second part of this is I have another frame coming at some point, which is going to help me with Super Chief Limited because that bike has its own issues. I can take that frame and swap all of this all of this over to the other frame which has a clean title and then i wouldn't have to go through rebuild anything it would have a clean title because again spike only has 600 miles on it so that is the hold up with this bike i am going to go ahead and start cleaning things i need to clean these cylinder heads i need to clean these pipes i'm actually going to swap the pipes out and put a set of slip-ons on i got to clean the harness there's a lot of things that i need to do but as far as getting this bike in and getting it out it is on hold until I can get this title stuff situated or I get the other one in and go, okay, I'm going to spend a month swapping everything over, even though it may only take me a few weeks. So I, I don't, <laughs> I'm not like bummed about it. I'm just like, oh crap, that's just another wrinkle in, you know, everything that we got going on. But it's just, uh, this title process is probably the hardest part of these, these rebuilt bikes because you know, you already have that stain of a, re, a rebuilt bike. But honestly, when you look at this bike, you couldn't, from surface level, like standing far away from it, you can't go like, or you wouldn't be able to say like, or I'm not gonna say you wouldn't be able to say that, but you would look at it and go, wait, what's wrong with the bike, right? It starts up, it rides, it sounds good, it's healthy, what's going on? And then the closer you get, you go, oh, water damage. But honestly, man, it's a perfectly rideable bike and it just, I don't know if the insurance company, well, I'm not gonna say that. The insurance company did not get it wrong because you know there's just so much that could go, go wrong. But my goal right now is to clean the cylinder heads, swap the exhaust out, do the work that I was gonna do on this bike anyway, and just wait to see what happens and we'll just go from there. But this is just one of those things that you have to deal with when you're doing rebuilt bikes. And before you even buy a rebuilt bike, you need to know what your process is going to be to get the rebuilt title. I knew that when I bought this bike, either one or two things was going to happen. Either I was going to get that title corrected or I was going to turn this into a parts bike and I was going to sell the parts individually. So I have options, but the option that I wanted, obviously it's not the option that we're going to get right away. So I have a plan. So when you, when you get that salvage bike, you need to know where you are going to get that rebuilt title because you may have that bike completed in a month and it might take you a year just to get that title. And without that rebuilt title, you can't sell it. Well, you, well, you could sell it. You can sell it as salvage and let somebody else deal with it. Uh, you can't get insurance and you can't get a tag to legally ride on, on the street. So make sure you have that situated. But this is what we're we're doing with Super Chief. And um, yeah, we're going to keep it moving regardless. We, we can't wait. We got to keep moving. And that's what we're going to do. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next part of this. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.